William K. Murtaugh, Mert Witness 1, and today I want to talk about dissension. And it's dissension among the ranks. Now, over the past few days, the conspiracy nut from Minnesota has been putting up some really weird conspiracy theories. One I discussed was the body double, and then we have the shoe scandal, and then we have the people disappearing scandal. And the conspiracy nuts been getting a lot of criticism, not from those of us who try to bring out his lies, but but from the very people who support his cause. Uh, the rank, so to speak, the choir that he's preaching to, these people are starting to question the validity of all his conspiracy theories. You see it on the comment section, comment after comment after comment about why what he is saying is false. Camera angles are different. This is different. That is different. There's These people are going out of their way to offer plausible explanations as to why his conspiracy theories don't hold up. And I find that surprising from these people that believe in the deep state and all these other conspiracies, yet when it comes down to it, there's a limit to what they will tolerate, what they will believe. And they have come right out and said that this individual's posts are making them look ridiculous, which is an achievement all on itself because they already look ridiculous. But he's making matters worse, and they don't even like the music that he plays. See, his video consists of about three or four minutes of one song and one third of it is broken down into a slideshow all about himself. Then he gets to the subject of whatever it is the video is about and then he reverts back to himself again. So you have one third of this entire video all about himself about how he takes credit for doing all sorts of things that he is lying about. You know, he's a false prophet. And he's getting marginalized because people aren't sharing these videos, people aren't praising him or anything. And it's become that the vast majority of people that see these videos are criticizing him and criticizing him heavily. So I think we're beginning to see the end of this particular dynasty, if you want to call it that, of this particular conspiracy theorist. He is going the way of other garbage that has been down this road before. And as I've countlessly said before, I am going to gradually move away from it. Because it's basically there's nothing there. I can keep disputing his nutty theories until I'm blue in the face and it's really not accomplishing anything. Uh, I am probably going to start not having the daily mobile thoughts at some point because it's difficult to find anything to talk about right now. Uh, now we do have the trial of Phil McConnell coming up. Um, Actually, it's just a hearing. It's going to be in the 28th, a few days from now. And what I will do is, once I get some information on how that turns out, I will do a mobile thon on it. Uh, so there's that. Other than uh, possibly commenting on the uh, impeachment trial that's going to start in a couple of weeks, <clears throat> since that is a trial of sorts, I may comment on that, and if I see something that I am interested in that I would like to share with you, I will do that. So the best I can say is to stay tuned from now. I am also going to be checking into the Neely Blanchard case and the Essentia Absug case to see where they're going as time goes on. So until then, this is William K. Murtaugh, Mark Witness 1. Have a good one.